Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shuman Kumar Mitra. Today I am going to discuss the Zener and Avalanche breakdown in PN Junction diode. So my PPT outline is first introduction about the PN Junction, then what is Zener breakdown, what is Avalanche breakdown and what is the application of these breakdowns in the um, electronics industry. Now everyone uh, knows the PN Junction is a semiconductor device. So it is a device where in one piece of semiconductor, uh, semiconductor one side is fabricated with the p, uh, p type dopant and another side is doped with the n type dopant with pentavalent or hexavalent atoms. So this uh, tetra, uh, trivalent or bivalent or hexavalent or pentavalent atom by using these atoms when we doped a intrinsic semiconductor there is a p and n junction has been made in a piece of semiconductor then this is become a pn junction diode and conventionally it's only allow current flow in only in one direction if we consider uh, talk about the biasing conditions so there is a two kind of bias can be possible or can be make in pn junction that is one is forward bias one is reverse bias if we connect positive terminal of the battery to the p side of the pn junction diode then it will be become forward bias if we connect positive terminal of the battery to the n side of the diode and negative terminal of the battery to the p side of the diode then it will become reverse bias so when we are talking about the back, uh, breakdown voltages or breakdown conditions then we are mainly talking about the reverse bias position so when breakdown occurs when we apply the high amount of reverse bias voltage and due to that there is a sufficient amount of electric field high electric field will be there in the PA, uh, across the p injection diode and due to that heavy current will flow through this p injection diode and then it will call a breakdown and in p injection there is a two types of breakdown is there one is zener another is avalanche in the subsequent slides, uh, we'll see that what is general breakdown and how it's happening. We'll also see the avalanche breakdown and how it's happening. Now, when we fabricate a PN junction, then there is a one side hole is the majority and electron is the minority carrier in the P side and in the N side, electron is the majority carrier and hole is the minority carrier. So there is a potential gradient or sorry concentration gradient uh, present in this uh, across this means junk or compared to the p and n side this high concentration of hole is present in the p side lower concentration of hole is present in the n side as well as that higher concentration of electron is present in the n side and lower concentration of electron is present in the P side so there is a concentration gradient to balance this concentration gradient there's a diffusion take place in the uh, in this uh, piece of uh, device then hole diffuse from p2 n side and electron diffuse from n to p side and in that process the negative uncovered or immobile charges created at the p side uh, adjacent to the junction and in the n side uh, adjacent to the junction part there is creation of the positive immobile charges so these positive layer of charges in the n side and negative immobile charges in the p side actually create a potential difference uh, or behave as a parallel plate capacitor in the pn junction and this the potential drop across this pn junction can be calculated using this formula where this vt is the thermal voltage it is it can be expressed as a kt by q and then thermal voltage into log of e base log na nd by ni square now ni is the intrinsic concentration at that temperature t temperature say if we are talking about 300 degree kelvin then it uh, if and we are talking about silicon then it's roughly 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 per centimeter cube and NA and ND is the acceptor and donor concentration in the P and N side. Now, when we apply biasing means we apply potential across this diode, then the curve or IDVG relation of this diode look like almost this one. So when 
means positive terminal of the battery connected to the n side uh, sorry p side then it will be become our positive term uh, forward bi forward biasing in forward biasing when we are increasing our potential when we cross that high voltage then there is sudden increasing of current is there that due to the that when we increase the forward voltage then the depletion region is reduced and after some now after that 5 voltage the repetition region almost uh, neutralized by the this applied potential and the huge amount of hole and electron diffuse from uh, able to diffuse from p to n side and electron able to diffuse from n to p side and the huge amount of current flow is there now when we connect positive terminal of the battery to the n side and negative terminal of the battery to the p side then it is a reverse bias junction then what happened that more immobile charges will be accumulated at the junction and junction with the w depletion region will increase we'll see then uh, how it is increased what is the numerical formula and how can you calculate this w depletion region with now when it is increased so there is a reverse situation current flow through this diode due to the minority carrier of the p and m side so when this minority carrier uh, that is a very small amount of current due to the electric field uh, present across this junction due to the junction potential due to that this minority carrier uh, drifted from p to n the electron and hole drifted from n to p and due to that this small reverse situation current flow through this diode but when we increase the sufficient amount of reverse bias then there is we see that suddenly there is an increment of the current and this current is called reverse breakdown current okay so this point the reverse breakdown can be we already discussed that this can be segregated into two part the one is general breakdown one is avalanche breakdown okay and that particular potential is also known as a uh, or it should be we can relate with the peak inverse voltage that the peak inverse voltage is the that certain amount of voltage which can diode withstand, uh, withstand up to that voltage before entering the general breakdown process we'll discuss that also in later what is general uh, breakdown which in is uh, take place earlier and which will take place later time. now if we check the depletion region width the depletion region width can be uh, calculated from this formula if we see that this is depends on the three parameter mainly one is na acceptor concentration one is donor concentration another is the potential uh, drop across this diode or the total potential applied across the diode the total potential drop. so if n and nd is increasing that means our depletion region width is reducing yes so when we apply high amount of na and d means when we are talking about the heavily doped yeah, regionally doped semiconductor then when we na and d is very high then depletion region width will be reduced and we are applying sufficient amount of reverse bias voltage and reverse bias voltage that will add up with this phi then total applied potential will be very high so that sub subsequently will be huge amount of electric field will be created across the pn junction then what happened when if we apply this is the normal pn junction uh, left side is p right side is n and upper band is conduction band lower band, uh, lower uh, line is the valence band and, and when we apply our reverse bias then initial our band banding of at the p to n is phi uh, q phi phi is the your built-in potential and v that q v is the additional applied reverse bias voltage due to that the band will uh, push it down or uh, push lower as compared to the equilibrium condition and due to that that electric field will increase and the depletion region with will reduce and when the depletion channel width is reduced then what happens due to the huge amount of electric field the electron start to tunnel from valence band to conduction band of the n side and the this minority carrier of the uh, from the p side would suffer 
हाई मतलब फोर्सफुल और ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ माइनेटिक एरियर इलेक्ट्रॉन टर्न इन फ्रॉम द बैलेंस बैंड टू कंडक्शन बैंड फ्रॉम पी साइड टू एन साइड एंड द ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ करेंट फ्लो तो दिस टाइप ऑफ करेंट फ्लो इन द रिवर्स बाय कंडीशन दैट इज कॉल्ड जेनर ब्रेकडाउन और जेनर टर्निंग एंड व्हेन द जेनर टर्निंग हैपन इन द पी एन जंक्शन दैट मीन्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट जेनर ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ द पी एन जंक्शन सो जेनर ब्रेकडाउन व्हेन हैपेंस व्हेन वी हैव हाई हेविली डोप्ड सेमी कंडक्टर पी एन जंक्शन व्हेन वी हैव लाइटली डोप्ड means not that much high then what will happen the depletion uh, width will be large opposite obviously then what will happen the if we increasing the potential then obviously the electric field will increase and if we increase the electric field that means uh, there is a process called impact ionization that will happen in the diode then how what is the impact ionization we will discuss right now now when you apply a huge amount of reverse bias voltage then electric field will be very high and when the electric field will be very high the kinetic energy of the electron will be very high and then this highly energized kinetic or high kinetic energized uh, electron will strike the atoms in the at the depletion region and generate huge amount of whole electron pair you can uh, simply uh, this is clear from this direction also when we apply the reverse bias voltage then the electric field across this junction will be very high then electric uh, due to the high electric field the electron will be uh, highly energized high kinetic energy will, it will achieve and then with high kinetic energy it will strike one atom it will create a whole pair junction and itself all, also it will be uh, staying as a free electron so there is a striking one electron removing one and it's also becoming uh, staying as a free electron it's mean this generation of huge amount of free electron across this pn junction diode and this is a continuous chain reaction one is striking one generating two then two is striking two generating four four is striking then it will be generating eight eight is striking generating 16 and so on so it will be huge amount of electron at the pn junction which is directly drifting from n side p side to n side and it's a current will flow through this diode and this is a almost if you see that that this process is called impact ionization and due to the impact ionization the huge amount of current flow is there then it is called avalanche breakdown in the pn junction diode now this this you see the reverse voltage uh, reverse bias voltage relation between avalanche and zener diode then the zener diode as it is highly uh, heavily doped then the total requirement of reverse bias potential is less as compared to the avalanche breakdown so zener tunneling occurs in the lower uh, voltage and at higher voltage more compared to higher voltage avalanche breakdown avalanche breakdown occurs and the doping concentration if you relate the doping concentration doping concentration required higher in the zener or lower in the avalanche breakdown now what is the application of this if we remember that iv characteristics that when general breakdown or avalanche breakdown when breakdown occurs at certain voltage huge amount of current flow is there means that means the voltage increment across the diode is very less but current increment is very high so almost we can say that uh, we can get a steady voltage uh, drop across the diode and with a huge amount of current variation so using that property uh, we can use this center and avalanche breakdown of diode in two purpose one is as a voltage regulator another is a voltage reference how we can use that one suppose um, in figure a if you see that there is a variable register rl is there this is a series copy uh, a voltage source is there there is a series composition of rs with rs and there is a parallel circuit connected after rs one is another one is rl so if we apply kcl oh if we apply kcl over here then what is happening that means is is equal to il plus iz means total is and is is equal to b minus if we uh, wrote it down as a vz then i b minus vz by rs is equal to is total is and is is divided into two component iz and il now 
I wizard if is if is it is in breakdown region then zenon diode voltage across the diode is fixed wizard is fixed if wizard is fixed and rl is varying that means il is varying if wizard is fixed b is fixed then is is fixed but if rl is changing if wizard is fixed il is changing so total i uh, z equal to is minus i l if i l is changing if i l is suppose r l is uh, increasing so i l will be reduced v by i v by r then i if i s is constant the i z should increase to balance out this uh, kcl so what is happen now that is general voltage general uh, diode will give a fixed voltage across this diode and it will where the current across this diode will vary to balance out this uh, KCL and it will give a constant voltage drop across this diode as VZ. Limited uh, citing note that then the maximum I, uh, IZ should be less than but or IZ should be less than the IZ max which is, uh, is uh, as per its uh, apply or supply to the data sheet of this Zener type. So it is giving as a voltage regulator. A voltage regulator. Similar within the similar phenomenon it is giving as a voltage reference point if you connect it to the ground and somewhere and it will reverse bias you are using using this reverse bias condition then obviously you will get a voltage drop constant voltage drop of vz across this diode so it will giving as a reference point so these are the important two application of the breakdown uh, voltage or breakdown uh, general avalanche, break, avalanche breakdown of diode thank you everyone